It means that signal. We need more power. It's my pleasure and privilege to uh, bring up to the stage uh, a good friend to both Comic Con, but to our group entirely, and the host, also co creator and executive producer of Last Man Standing, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> financing these projects. So now is your chance to go on various websites online, whether it's Kickstarter or the others. <laughs> are there others? There, there are others. Oh, uh, anyway. There's new others. And, and like, a, like a menu, go through and go, yes, I would like to see that movie come to fruition, or that TV show. You are now the studio. Yes, Wonder Woman, you, right there, you are, stand up, Wonder Woman, you are the studio. You are the studio now. You make the decisions. So, that dawned on us, I've never done any Kickstarter thing before. I've never, I've always gotten funding the old-fashioned way by being insulted and tormented by studios <laughs> over and over and over mercilessly. And so, today what we bring to you is a brand new project called Last Fan Standing. And the origin, Steve told you a little bit about it. It came organically from doing a, a trivia show uh, for, the, for the troops in San, San Antonio. And, um, and what was great about that show that I thought was these soldiers, 600 of them, came walking in and everybody got a clicker. They're not vetted, they're not screened, they're not anything. Now granted, this is all military trivia, so they better know what the hell they're talking about. So, But still, someone in that room wound up being the one who got it all, and they were just someone who walked in off the street. So a light bulb went off over my normally dim head, and uh, I thought, wait a second, wait, why, why can't we convert this to this wizard world environment, to the, the convention environment where you, you have fans right there that they're, they're stumbling around the hallways and looking for something to do. Yeah, it's about the fandom. I think celebrating that whole notion of fandom. Yeah. And the audience response device gives everybody a fair playing ground and ultimately the person who has the most knowledge. Now this scares this guy because I say, bring anybody in. Bring anybody in. He goes, oh my god, no, there's serial killers out there. I'm like, yes, there are. There are, but do they know trivia? <laughs> that anyone can walk in right now, get a clicker, take it all the way home, and win a of dollars in prizes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Everybody here knows trivia. Everybody in this room who went and came to this convention, you're a freak about somebody. Who loves Doctor Who? Right. So if I said, what's that stupid uh, phone booth thing? <laughs> Who can answer that? It's what? It's what? TARDIS? Yeah, whatever. I don't really care what the answers are on this show. Ladies and gentlemen, our host, Bruce Campbell. Everybody who walked in this door is a freak about somebody like, I don't know, the Evil Dead movies? How did they film the last shot of Evil Dead, the original Evil Dead? Yes, right there. Sam ran on a bicycle. Sam ran on a bicycle. Close enough, he was on a motorcycle, and he smashed into me and almost killed me. Yes. But you know, you've heard of that trivia of that thing, because you're pseudo-interested in that. What's the new show, Ash vs. Evil Dead, coming on the stage? I 
by the fact that this is a call to action. We need your support. Uh, if you don't back this, we won't make it. No hard feelings. <laughs> Never coming to a convention ever again. <laughs> ever. Ever. But, um, so that's it. So now we can open it up uh, to your questions, comments, and in insightful uh, donations. That, uh, we, we've got cups. Who's, who's, who's contributed already, by the way? Who's been on here? Over there? Awesome. Here you Stand up, please. <laughs> What'd you grab, sir? Hello there. Congratulations. How much did you contribute to this worthy cause? I started low, and then I can work my way up when I have more time to read what the other... Uh, uh, what, what is low? Where did you start? Five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, that's pretty low. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your five damn dollars. <laughs> but uh, and all you have to really do is go to Kickstarter and type in Last Man Standing. We have the link out right now to anyone. Um, it's Right now, then, uh, if you go to Entertainment Weekly, they just put an article up that's kind of put a whole display on it. But right now, just go to Kickstarter, type in Last Man Standing, it should pop right up. And then all you have to do is go to it and um, just type in your digits. They have a really good mobile version of the, uh, of the whole website to make it easy and fast. And they don't charge you until the campaign's done. So if you know that you're going to have a certain amount, but you don't have it now, it shouldn't prevent you from wanting to contribute if you, if you do. Now, Steve, what would we do with more money? rather than the clips you saw here. Yeah. Like, what would be better about the show with more money? Like, what would be different? We'd get paid. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, sure. No, sure. Uh, I believe your wardrobe would improve. Yeah, your wardrobe? That's your wardrobe. not wardrobe. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so we'll, the, this show was very organically developed, and what we did is we took elements that we knew, audience response, audience, and things that we already had assets, and, and we repackaged them for the show. But the notion is to create a broadcast quality show. The current show that you can see the 10 episodes on Con TV, like I said, the content, the host, and the actual platform of the show is fantastic. What we'd like to do is re-engineer both the set and, and the production quality and, and light it for broadcast. Uh, and you'll see we've outlined this as even a new set schematic, which is, you know, it's in wet cement right now uh, in terms of what the new set would look like for season two. You can see it on the Kickstarter campaign page. Again, it's elevating this to be able to be of broadcast quality, whether it whether it goes on to the Game Show Network, Sci-Fi, Stars, HBO, whomever, any network uh, out there. And again, it's it's again taking the quality to another level and also engaging more fans uh, through some of the perks that we've established. And if I may be so bold, the more people who decide they want to see the show and bring it on board, the more likely you will be able to see it in other avenues besides Con TV. Yeah. Right, and for a Kickstarter that you can in fact get it started because what I have, a lot of times studios are hesitant to put up seed money. They do. They'll, they'll shoot a little 10 minute thing or a 5 minute thing to see if something works. But what this really would wind up being is the seed money to then create a show that would be viable for television. And then it, we would then take those episodes that are filmed and go to somebody who could then go, all right, we'll take it from here and give you your show. So it's an opportunity for you in a grassroots way to just get something going, so that's really what we want. Toss out an example of a sci-fi question and see if anyone here can get it. Um, for five dollars? From one. <laughs> <laughs> it's five bucks. I don't think we got hard I'll put you up. I've got five. Five bucks. Let's do this. <laughs> from what planet does the silver surfer hail? A couple of dollars is fine. Jesus, In the back, young man. What was the question? That is correct. Wait, what, was it? what was the question? You can't get it yet. From what planet is the silver surfer? Silver surfer. And you got it right. Sir, come up here to get your five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do one more so Bruce and I can actually hear the question this time. So. This is how quick your life can change, sir. <laughs> This can get you almost a couple gallons of gasoline. <laughs> John Paul, thank you very much. Congratulations, John. Do you want to do an easy one? Oh, well, no, that, well, that, that okay. seemed like an easy one. This is, this is um, mildly easy. Okay, so that was sci fi. I this, and this is, okay, horror. Horror. For In five dollars. In the novel The Shining, spoiler alert, how does Jack Torrance die? Frozen to death. That is incorrect. In the <laughs> novel by Stephen King. In the novel, we said. That is correct. Boiler room explosion is correct. <laughs> <laughs>
stupid or put a what is in front of their answer. I have a question for you, Bruce. What the hell is that all behind? What is a doorknob? I know what a doorknob is. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question. What if people don't really give a rat's ass about the show but they want cool stuff? What are you giving away? We've got some cool... I was going to say, if you're not interested in the show, there's the door. But, uh, whoa, that's harsh. Hold on now. No, 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 easy now. But if, you, but if you want cool stuff, we've got a lot of great perks that are all in the campaign your favor. My big one is uh, the, the custom voicemail for Bruce Campbell. You know, it's like having a, having a my own ringtone. Like, sir, what's your name? Nate. Beep. Hi. This is Nate. I'm not here right now. Go f*** yourself. <laughs> And yes. you sleep. And you sleep. <laughs> and if you don't have 500 bucks for 20... Because that way when your ex-wife calls, it's perfect. <laughs> and for $20, Bruce is just going to record stuff exclusively for the campaign, and you're just going to have access to that. But only if you are a backer. Like, that's only going to be given to you. We're going to email it to you directly, and no one else is going to have it. We even have um, a new cover for My Name is Bruce that is Kickstarter exclusive. You know, so if you want like a version of My Name is Bruce, issue number one. These people don't collect anything in this no. room. They don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> then you can get that as well. We even have a higher tier in which Bruce will sign it. You know? Uh, much higher tier. Much higher. <laughs> Thousands of dollars. <laughs> we also have retro, it's a, we call it Bruce's Box of Souls. It's a, it's a retro lunch box that has a bunch of swag inside of it. Some of it we say, some of it we don't. But it can all be yours. And you can only get it because of it. Big prize, $25,000. Bowling party! Oh, yeah! 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 I got a custom ball. I got my own ball. Are you going to invest $25,000? <laughs> if you invest $25,000, man, I'll find a damn hand somewhere. <laughs> when will we shoot more? Our first city will be uh, New Orleans in January. After the exact dates, uh, you can go to wizardworld.com actually and find out. That's about the earliest. Like, uh, Jerry's it's first, second week of January in New Orleans at the uh, convention center there. But you know, obviously, we're in pre-production right now. Philip is actually I'm surprised he's here because he's supposed to be writing. <laughs> Can you tell from the quality we just came from? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the first city be there, and then the second city would then be Atlanta, and then we'll we'll add cities. Uh, well, Chicago's always going to be kind of... The more cash, the more cities. We will even go to Detroit if there's enough cash. <laughs> but it's got to be a lot of money. <laughs> and actually, once we reach that, like, that next goal after uh, New Orleans and then Atlanta, we're actually going to ask everyone who is a... Uh, was contributing to the campaign to vote where they would like the next city to be. So we want to put it in your hands as well. But I guess uh, in closing, we want to say, please visit Kickstarter. Tell your friends, wives, children, ex-friends, ex-wives, and ex-children to participate. Because <laughs> the whole point is just we wanted to do a show that's geared for you that you will enjoy. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yes, there it is. Last fan standing. Uh, you've just launched on Kickstarter. We did. Uh, I know We've your launched. goal. Launch. Woo! Your goal is 250, but how high can it go? I mean, what's the sky? You tell the me. Limit? Can, sky is the limit. Is it? Yeah. We're gonna. We're, what? We're gonna give money back? What are you crazy? <laughs> uh, can the fans I got a sick potentially I got a win any of their money back as prizes on the show? Well, if you put money in. You're still going to get something regardless of what happens. So if you if you put a hundred dollars in, you're not going to walk away with nothing. Right. 
right. If you put $20, you're going to get something. What's, uh, what's your favorite reward that's out there right now, do you think? Bowling party, $25,000. Bowling party. Come on, you rich bastard. Someone's got to, if, if you bowl <laughs> and you're rich, let's do it. Let's do this. Exactly. I'll wipe your ass up one side and down that lane. Now, if this goes well, last year when we were here, you also hosted an improv show, uh, I believe with Ted Ramey, and well, no, it was that hilarious. Was just a that was not a show. It was, that was just us killing 45 minutes. <laughs> and it was hilarious. It was a lot of fun. Would you consider uh, other shows if this Kickstarter goes really well? Let's one crisis at a time. All right. Let's get All the right. money for this, and then we'll figure out something else. All right. Give me that six. We need more time.